Hi, I'm Randy Altman with Post Perspective. I have Jim Tierney from Digital Anarchy with me. Hello, Jim. Hey, Randy. <laughs> Good to see you. Um, so we're going to talk about a couple of your products today, but let's tar start with Transcriptive. Um, you updated it to 2.0 at the end of last year. Yep. And um, now you have some updates to it and also some new pricing models. Can you just fill us in on all of that? Yeah, sure. So we, uh, you know, we launched 2.0 uh, at the end of last year. We added a whole bunch of new features into it for Premiere and working with clips and different ways of editing with text. Um, and also allowing, you know, better search capabilities. And, um, you know, we're adding transcriptive.com uh, to allow collaboration. But, you know, kind of what we're talking about now is, you know, we just dropped the price from $299 to $149. Um, you know, as we try and make this a whole lot more affordable, you know, a couple months ago, we announced uh, the ability to prepay minutes and get the cost down to four cents a minute, which is, you know, about two and a half bucks an hour for transcription, which not too bad. <laughs> and, you know, now with a little bit lower price on the panel itself, we're just trying to make it a little bit more accessible uh, to you know, all pr premier editors. Uh, regardless of whether you're working on you know, network television or you know, just doing YouTube. Okay, great. Now, <clears throat> Digital Anarchy has been around for, for a while, and you guys have had many products over the years. And yeah. um, I know that Beauty Box is one of the most um, popular. Can you yeah. tell people about it, and um, has it been updated recently? Sure. Um, we haven't really done an update for Beauty Box uh, in the, recently, but, um, you know, it's one of our best-selling products. Uh, basically, what it does is it uh, analyzes the footage for skin tones, builds an automatic mask for those skin tones, and then applies some level of skin smoothing just to those areas. And um, the algorithm does a very good job of keeping skin detail, so it looks you know just like a layer of digital makeup. Um, you know, and that's kind of the important bit, and one of the reasons it's so popular is that you know it does a really nice job of just looking like digital makeup. Somebody doesn't look like they've been you know, digitally, digitally retouched. So, but uh, we are we are continuing to work on that. You know, once we get, we've been trying to get this web version of Transcriptive out um, along with the Power Search update, and that's pretty much done. And so now we're going to go back and start focusing on the visual effects plugins a little bit, um, giving them a little bit of love, just because you know we've been kind of focused on Transcriptive for a while and. They need a little bit of love at this point, so. Gotcha, that makes sense. So yeah, so um, definitely look for some updates for Beauty Box and Flickr Free, uh, you know, definitely over the next few months. We've got some cool stuff we're working on. Great, okay. Um, this weird new world that we live in um, has given birth to remote workflows. A lot of people are now working from home, yep. trying to figure it all out. Uh, you've been in this industry you have been an artist. Um, how do you see this trend maybe sticking around? Not, I'm not saying everybody's going to work from home, but the remote workflow part of it. Um, I mean, I think you were seeing a trend to, towards it, you know, to begin with. Uh, you know, collaboration, remote collaboration has been a big deal. I mean, that's part of the reason we're doing this whole transcriptive.com thing so that, um, you know, remote editors can share videos and transcripts with um, you know, producers or clients or whatever. So, I mean, I, I think you're going to continue to see that. Um, I mean, I think there's a lot to be said for face-to-face -face interaction. So I don't think offices are going to go away anytime soon. Um, but, uh, but I think it will, I mean, I think a lot of people are seeing what's possible with remote work, with remote working remotely. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's a lot of jobs that people are like, oh yeah, you can't do that remotely. And suddenly we're discovering you can do that remotely. Um, so, you know, I think it's, it's going to be a significant shift. Um, and, you know, we'll see how much of it sticks around, you know, by this time next year. But uh, especially with, you know, like, you know, we got fiber internet at the uh, Digital Anarchy office, you know, a few months ago. And, uh, that makes working uh, remotely much easier. And you're gonna up upload a gigabyte, uh, you know, file this a, a gigabyte in the space of about a minute. Um, it's a lot easier to share video files around. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Jim, thank you. Thank you for joining us. I appreciate you taking the time and hopefully I'll see you 
at a trade show in person one day soon-ish. I hope so. It'd be nice. <laughs> <laughs>